friends, welcome to another episode of Killing Lane Public Library's craft series. Today we're going to make a burlap pumpkin door hanger. And I'm going to start with a book page and a pumpkin template. And just trace your, um, and actually what I did was I cut, cut it in half, but line it up so that your words are not upside down. And then you can just trace it on to your book page and cut it out, which I have done here already. See, I have two of them. And I just took a black marker and made just some little dashes to create the little uh, lines that kind of form on the pumpkin. You could certainly have made a solid line or you could have just eliminated the line. It's totally your call. Uh, I wanted just the, uh, the little dashes. And I have here uh, two pieces of burlap. We're going to glue the pumpkin onto the burlap. And if you would like what I did to the burlap um, before cutting it was I sprayed it with some spray starch and then I ironed it and then I resprayed it and ironed it again. So it's a little stiffer and I'm hoping that it'll keep it from unraveling too much. So that's just something to try if you, you know, want to uh, have a little bit stiffer. Um, you could also glue two pieces of burlap together um, if it's too flimsy for you with the one, but I'm just gonna go with the one piece and I'm going to glue each of my pumpkins onto the burlap with my hot glue gun. So I have two pumpkins on the burlap now, and I'm going to just cut them out with my scissors, but I'm going to leave, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of burlap edge around the pumpkin cut out so that it, you can see the burlap from, from out from under the book page. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't trim it very good at one end. It's I didn't uh, do the indents quite well. There, a little better. Not great, but good enough. Just doing it too fast and not really doing a good job. So let's do the other one too. All right, there I have two pumpkins. Now I am going to decorate them up with a little, I wasn't exactly happy with the leaves I found. They're oak leaves. I was hoping for a maple leaf. It would have looked more closer to a pumpkin leaf, um, but this was all I could find right now. So that's, that's what I have, but maybe you could find something else. I'm going to glue that onto the top of my pumpkin. Leaves are glued onto my pumpkin. Now I'm going to take a little twig that I've cut. Um, I've got a couple little twigs. So I'm gonna make these as my pumpkin stems. You could also use a piece of a, a cinnamon stick um, if you'd like, but I, I liked the, uh, just the whatever twigs I found in the yard. And I'm just gonna glue that up here onto the pumpkin, something like this, uh, near, near the leaf on each pumpkin with some hot glue, hold it well. stems are glued on and now I'm just going to take a little bit of raffia and just I just have like maybe two or three strands here and I'm just going to make a knot
and snip it off. I have several different types of scissors and those did not want to cut. And then I'm so, it's just, it's just a little kind of blob of raffia and I'm gonna glue that at the bottom of my stem just to kind of hide the, the mess and it'll look something like that, okay? And you could use more or less raffia, whatever you have. There, the raffia is on. I'm gonna do a little bit onto the other pumpkin as well. Okay, both of my pumpkins have their stems, their leaves, and their raffia. If you um, had some fall berries, you could certainly add that on there as well, or just do the raffia and the twig and eliminate the leaf. I mean, you can play around as much as you like. And then I just cut a piece of uh, twine, and I'm just going to glue it onto the back of each pumpkin, and I... Honestly, I didn't measure it, but it, it looks like it's about a yard even. You could make it shorter or longer, and I may even want to trim it. Who knows? Uh, once I get this on, I may not like it this long. My twine is glued to the back of each of the pumpkins. And I, if you, as you can see, it's just glued at the ends. And I would then take this and hang it on the door. So it would look something like so, just kind of offset it a bit so one pumpkin's a little higher than the other. If it's too long, you could certainly cut it and then knot it or um, just knot it and just knot it and hang it at the knot. So it's, it's or um, measure it first like I didn't do and figure out how long you do need it. And that's, that's it. That's our pumpkin door hanger for today. Nice little fall decoration. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our craft video. I'd love to see your crafts. If you could send them to us at info at killinglypl.org, it would be wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping in today and have a great day. Mm -hmm.